Hello, 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 dear friends. Chris here. Welcome. I hope everybody is fabulous today. Um, if this is your first time joining me, again, a big welcome to you. Again, my name is Chris. And if you like the channel, if you like my content and what you see, please do those, please do those YouTube things. Like, like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. It would be very much appreciated by me. And to all my dear friends and returning to Blues, thank you so much for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means everything to me. So, I have two off-canvas items for you today. Yes, it's that time of year. You, I've been showing more and more off-canvas stuff, and more will come. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes the dime paintings slow down a little bit, or the new stuff, and, you know, there's lots of holiday things. So, you know, it's, it's fun to do these, these stuff, too, you know. Um, so, I have two of them for you today from my friends from One Day Savings. So, thank you to them for you know, giving these to me to show you all. Of course, they will be linked down below in the description box, as well as any other important links like social medias, discount codes, etc. And speaking of discount codes, um, I'm recording this on May, excuse me, May. What am I talking about? May. It's November 20th. Um, so I'm probably going to put this either up today after I film it um, or tomorrow. And, um, like all of all sites everywhere, including one day savings, they'll be having the Black Friday sales. Um, so all that information um, will be down below in the description where you could save some money when you shop from these places. Okay, so with all that said, let's just get right into it. I think these are also themed too in a certain way. I think I picked two of the same um, similar type items. I don't know. I have to see if I remember correctly. I don't know if they're both holiday though. So every dime painting, whether it's a special project or a regular canvas or whatever you get, will always have a toolkit. I usually don't show these because I tend to throw them out before I get actually filming. But here we are. It's a basic tray, some wax, and your pen. Simple, easy, that's all you need. Um, now this is obviously a table decoration. So again, our thick, clear stand, which I really like how they're doing these now, just like that. We have our project and we have our diamonds and our gems. So let's take a look at, well, I'm just gonna take them out, but we'll see the color palette. And let's see what one we have here. Oh, no, I was wrong, different subject matter. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is a very nice, again, holiday-themed one um, because we have a vase of flowers and foliage and tree sprigs and all that and holly um, because there's poinsettias. There's red ones and white ones. We have our holly up here, our holly leaves, and we have some pine um, sprigs here, and we have some pine cones. How cute is this? Let me just try to adjust you just a little bit all oh, right better better i think that's better um so here's our backing plane you know you don't need to drill the back and here's the front obviously and you just when you do it you just pull up the little sheet here it's only sticky on the area where there are numbers and letters because that's the only place that needs the gems so as we see up close, I like our pine cones down there. Very nice. This will be really nice to do. I will try to have one of these done um, by the video. You know, I'm trying to rush this video out because I just got these and I want to get them up for the sale and everything. Um, so I will try to do this today. Um, I think that's enough where I can get this done in a couple hours and I'll just, you know, maybe wait till tonight to post this. We'll see. You don't need to know all about that, but I hope you'll have, uh, at least have this one done for you, um, to show how pretty it's going to look when it's finished. Okay. So here we have our decoration. And of course, you know, when it's done, you just plop it right in there and it stands right up. Let's look at our gems. There's clear rhinestone, bright red, a bright green. This is more of a sage green. Then we have a very light 
yellow, uh, a little bit of brown, and those are all the rhinestones. And we move to the specials, which are smooth red balls. Um, of course, the only one is showing here. The other one's on the other sides. Um, these um, faceted rounds, yellow, some uh, iridescent uh, marquees in red, and some clear iridescent marquees. And there you have it. So this will be really pretty. I'm just gonna put this aside for a minute. And that can go over there. And let's look at this one. So this one's a little bit bigger. By the way, it's nice that they come in these boxes. Again, these protect these very nicely from breaking. You know, there were a time when they would just kind of ship them in a little wrap thing. And it didn't work a lot of the times. They a lot of times got broke. So now they have these bo uh, cardboard boxes. And for the most part, it never ever breaks. Uh-oh, me speaking of that, I don't want to break it by uh, pulling it out too hard because there's delicateness here. Okay, so this one, this toolkit is actually a little bit more sophisticated, if you will, I guess. Um, the boat or the tray is a little bit bigger, although this has, a, and this one has an open spout. We have a wax and our pen, but we also have a chain here. I'm going to take the chain out. Get rid of that because I don't need that. So it's a nice substantial chain. It's not junky at all because this is a hanging project. So we'll, and it will hang through these two holes on the side. You just put it through there. Um, again, the back uh, clear. You don't you know or, or opaque. Nothing drilled there. Let me just take these out. So we're ready when the time comes. Okay, are you ready? And here. Again, another really beautiful, this one is stunning. I love it because it has the cage and these cutouts, I really think makes them look really cool. Um, so we have a bird cage here in the back, of course. We have two bluebirds. I'm gonna call them bluebirds. I don't know what exactly these kind of are, but they're colored blue, so they're bluebirds. Um, and the flowers, of course. Lots of different types of flowers. You know, who knows what, roses and whatever else is there. <laughs> um, simple, pretty, very nice. Let's bring you cl close so you can see. Yeah, same thing, you just pull up the little plastic. I'm not gonna actually well, I'll do it over here a little bit. See, there we go. Look at, we have the cutouts right there. Do the plastic. Plenty sticky. This one will be a little bit more, um, I wouldn't say challenging to work on, but because you're pulling up the plastic or the sheet and there's lots of these cutouts, so it can tear. So um, just be careful when you're doing that. Um, if you're not going to do it all in one sitting, uh, that it doesn't tear into all a bunch of shreds. But anyways, back to looking at it up close. Get lots of specials down in here, in these flowers, and then even in the bird here. It's going to be very pretty. So let's look at our gems. We have a gray rhinestone, a light brown, or well, it's really more amber, clear, a, a bright, a, like kind of lime green, periwinkle blue, a royal cobalt blue, a regular kind of chocolate brown, and those are the rhinestones. Now we go to the specials. We have about a, a medium size-ish gold ball. These um, pink smooth top teardrops. 
the uh, marquees in blue. They're like little, little, like, called, like, kind of seeds. Very pretty. Um, marquees in, again, that royal blue. Um, they're faceted. And that's two bags of those. So, very nice. So, again, here we have our two beautiful decorations off canvas. Love them. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, this one I will not be doing right now, but I will try my best to do this one. All right. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Um, again, stay tuned for a clip afterwards. Um, but I just wanted to say, again, thanks to One Day Savings for sending these to me to show you all. Thank you all for watching, for your support and all that good stuff. Um, I hope you have a great holiday. Um, if you're in the U.S., of course, with Thanksgiving coming up. Um, I hope you get great finds for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and all that stuff. Support small business. All that, you know, all those um, usual things. And um, thanks so very, very much. Um, I truly appreciate you all. Um, Till next time, please, everybody, be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy, and stay tuned. Bye. Okay, everybody, I'm back. And guess what? I actually got both finished. I thought I was only going to have time and be able to do one. But you know what? I was like, I look at the second one, I'm like, I can definitely do this today. So I did it. I got them both done. They both look fabulous. So let's look at the second one first, the blue one. Here we have it. This, so again, this is our hanging project. You put the, the chain over here between the two holes and hang it up. And here we go. It looks really, really pretty, guys. Oops, sorry about that. Take it up a little bit to see it better. There we have it. <clears throat> Again, we have our cage, the flowers, the birds, and all these pretty flowers down here with the big gems. Um, I will say this, I had to be very careful kind of with this because the glue on this one wasn't as sticky. So um, the, the rhinestones can move around quite easily. So I had to kind of be careful with it, which if you're hanging it, it really, it's not going to be an issue. And a lot of people seal these kind of things anyway. I don't seal them. But, um, again, that's the back. Um, and I'm not going to seal this. But I definitely will be careful with it. And when it's hanging up, you know, people, you know, you really shouldn't be touching it or anything anyways. So it just should be sitting there on the wall or window or wherever you put it. Uh, or hang it, you know. So this is our first item. Really, really pretty. Let's look up close. Both of these were really fun to do, of course. There was lots of line blocking, basically, in most of this. Not really the flowers here, um, but I was able to use the multi-placer for so much of the rest of the the uh, rhinestone area. Just a little, a few places I really couldn't, and I had to do single place. Okay, so that's our first one. Um, I'm just going to move this out of the way so we can see the second one completely. And here's our second one. So again, it's, you see, it's sitting on the stand very nicely. That's the back, of course, and this is the front. The beautiful vase of poinsettias and hollies um, and some pine cones and everything down here. Again, beautiful. The sticky was a lot better on here, and again, same thing. All of this was basically all multi-placed because all of the rhinestones were basically just in a line. Um, you know, of course, you have to nudge them a little bit here and there sometimes, but really pretty. So let's go down here. You see our little pine cones. I actually really, for some reason, like how this looks. I just love the way that looks. And I love how, like, you know, it has the, the line across there. And the flowers are beautiful. Beautiful holiday uh, December stand uh, decoration. And um, these as well. Having the little um, the rhinestones in between here, some brown ones, including some red ones, it gives the um, a great look to it of being with the 3D, even more 3D ish, because you see the bigger gems and then you see the smaller rhinestones, and it just makes it look really pretty. So there we have it, guys. Two gorgeous, gorgeous projects. Uh, definitely, like I said, go check them out. The, in the description box, the links will be there. The links to discount codes and everything will be there. 
Um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed these two beautiful projects and finishes. And until next time, everybody, please be safe, be happy. Stay safe, stay happy. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.